What's up Star Wars fans and collectors? It's been a few weeks since I did a video review so thank you for joining me again. Uh, we are just rounding up the last of the most recent Black Series figures here. Uh, this is number 102, Wedge Antilles. Uh, pretty decent addition to the line. Um, really nice face sculpt. Uh, the body is a, a pretty much a dead on reuse from Luke Skywalker, uh, there's no, no difference there at all, uh, which is a little disappointing, but it's a, again, it's a nice, it's a nice character to have. Um, hopefully they're not just going to go and put different heads on this same body over and over again, because we're going to have some that are out of proportion, like Biggs, who's, who's a little bit taller than both of these guys, but Luke and Wedge are pretty much the same height, so it's, it works out reasonably well. So we have here the art of the box. Art of Gregory Titus. It says on the back, a talented young rebel pilot from Corellia, Wedge Antilli survived the attack on the first Death Star to become a respected veteran of Rogue Squadron. So again, number 102, part of the second wave of this sort of new era since Force Friday. Um, let's just take a look. So accessory-wise, he comes with the uh, Rebel Blaster, which is nice. He also comes with his helmet, which is nice as well. That sort of green accents on it. Maybe a little sloppy on the paintwork, but that could could be accurate as well, being that the Rebels did paint up their helmets themselves. It's just the lines on the green there are a little bit sloppy. Um, if that's the case, it's okay. We'll get a look at Wedge's head sculpt, which is, I'll admit, it's pretty good. Pretty good indeed. Great use of the, uh, the technology, the face deco. Unfortunately, Mons has lost a little bit of paint there on his hair. Um, for some reason, it was just not sure. It's just a production error, but I'll get a marker and color that over. It won't be a problem. His hair is pretty much a really dark shade of brown. Chocolatey brown, it's not, not that difficult to do. Again, we'll check out the uh, rest of the outfit. So again, no different to the Luke. Which is unfortunate, because uh, there's little subtle differences, like the peg hook for the lightsaber is still there. Wedge never needed that. Overall, didn't really need to be any different. It's fine. The black boots, sort of ammo canisters around the around the thigh there. One thing that does bug me with this with this figure is the uh, full un length of this arm is a black plastic. It's molded in black, whereas the rest of it is orange, and they've just painted the orange over the black, and probably needs a second coat because you can sort of see that see that contrasting color there between the two. Um, more so there perhaps especially where the black paint from the glove has sort of bled onto the sleeve just a little bit yeah it could 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 be something to be looked at in the future um, if they want to improve a little bit more there he is mr wedge antilles uh, rumoured to have an appearance in the Rise of Skywalker, we're one week away. Very much looking forward to it. But, glad to be back getting some figure reviews out there again. Next up we'll be taking a look at a few of the exclusives that have that have popped out in the last month or so. So we'll, uh, we'll take a look at them next. Until then, may the Force be with you.